In this video we will discuss the infusion of lurches in pool blood versus infusion of lurches with peptidyl blood and the benefits and the drawbacks of both. So first of all, what is a lurcher? A lurcher is normally a combination of a running dog with another dog. Sometimes even a combination of different running dogs are called lurches. But in most cases, they bring some other blood in. For example, uh, more of a collie blood or oftentimes bull blood. So the, in this case, bull refers to uh, oftentimes to Staffordshire Bull Terrier or American Pitbull Terrier, sometimes also to American Bulldog blood or other sources of bull, for example the English Bull Terrier. But we will focus primarily on working bull type of dogs which are American Pitbull Terrier or Staffordshire Bull Terrier, oftentimes of Irish lines. And those dogs bring as much power and uh, courage that you could have per kilogram to the table. So that's a big benefit because also the running dogs bring as much speed as compared to their size to the table. And the running dogs that they normally use are uh, in most cases either Greyhound or Whippet and the combination with Bull blood is most often done with greyhound and that is type of lurch is also called the boo grey. The dogs that you see here are petadel terriers. So why is the greyhound mostly coupled to the uh, boo blood instead of for example whippet? That's because uh, the greyhound frame is a lot bigger and therefore carries the boo blood a lot better so you lose less speed to the additional poke but still have a lot of the benefits of, of the dogs being capable of also handling very strong prey and the strong prey would be for example uh, a hawk because uh, american pitbull terriers and sepsi bull terriers of working lines are quite capable of handling hawk also uh, english bull terriers of uh, working lines are capable of doing that but are quite uh, heavy dogs so to say and therefore when you have a bigger frame this has a bigger uh, synergy so to say and also of course when you have a bigger uh, type of dog suitable for bigger prey you also want to have the dog not too much scale down because if you for example would use a petadol terrier or a greyhound you will also decrease the size quite a lot and this is not so much the case if you use bull blood on them especially american pitbull terrier blood the benefit of english bull terrier blood could be that they have a little bit longer nose to begin with albeit being more less of a working dog and also oftentimes they are a little bit less dog dog aggressive. Okay. The drawbacks of American Pitbull Terrier blood are that you increase their dog aggression to a degree, but with the Greyhound, which is quite a, a docile type of dog, a lot more than a whippet is, you can counter this to a high degree. But also uh, you do not need to keep them as whole process. So 50% bull and 50% uh, greyhounds. Oftentimes they are so good at what they do that if they only use them for foxes, for example, and chasing them down and also handling them, they will get to 75% or even higher of uh, greyhounds uh, coupled with only 25% of bull blood. So that's also a benefit. To take into consideration. A, a drawback, another drawback, is that the feet of, um, for example, American Pitbull Terriers and Staffordshire Bull Terriers are not the best for uh, running, especially coupled to their explosive acceleration and strength. So, when the terrain is not that good, 
also pure greyhounds that are of racing stock often uh, have a lot of trouble working the terrain because the terrain can be uneven, there can be some potholes in it and when you express so much speed and power towards that uh, underground you can have troubles of course. So this is taken into consideration and therefore for example collie breeds of working stock are quite good in the mix as well. Another uh, drawback could be that uh, the primary origin of the bull blood was not that of a hunting dog. They were more of a combat type of dog against each other for example or for example against the bull uh, when you look at the original bulldogs. But that is a benefit in the courage because they will go even when the, the odds are not in their favor at all. But they don't have that hunting instinct that, for example, a purebred hunting dog does have. Then onwards to the Petrodil Terrier. Because the Petrodil Terrier brings also a lot of the benefits of the bull blood to the table. They also carry some overlap with bull blood to the Northumberland Terrier, especially. The benefits of the Petrodil Terrier is that they come with three different coats that you have a little bit more to choose choice of what type of coat you want. The skin is a lot tougher as compared to a Savage Boot area, especially for their size. They are in a smaller size, which can be detrimental, but also sometimes beneficial. And they have better feet because they also dig a lot, because they are earth dogs. And they have a high uh, hunting drive because they are purebred hunting dogs, in contradiction to, for example, bull blood. Another thing to consider is that uh, another thing to consider is that the contradiction to the bull blood, which brings maximum uh, power and courage for their weight, because they were uh, contending in weight classes. Better look that he brings maximum uh, power and courage for their uh, chest circumference, because. They are bird dogs. Another thing to take into consideration is that Petrodil Terriers are one of the only breeds that are, like other fell terriers, capable of collapsing their chests. So these are so these Petrodil Terriers are a type of fell terrier, black fell terrier, to be more precise. That has evolved into the Petrodil Terrier, which is an elite a working fell terrier, but they are able to collapse the chest to get through uh, narrow yeah, narrow burrows, for example, when they hunting fox or badger, or they get, get otherwise stuck and would die. So that can be a benefit if you have to work your way through the terrain, for example bushes, this could be a very good attribute. And it also brings me to uh, the reason why petrodil terriers are much more combined with whippets, because whippet is a smaller type of running dog compared to the greyhound, albeit being uh, bigger in size often than uh, the bull blood, for example, American Pitbull Terrier, but weighing a lot less. And they are therefore a little bit less speedy, but they are more agile. And that's coupled to a smaller dog can be beneficial, especially if they are also pushing. So they are pushing the quarry, the animals that they are hunting out of the bushes and then chase them down also in the open field. And then it can also be a benefit that you have a different type of coat which protects more. To, to take things into consideration about uh, what I mentioned, the difference between bull blood and uh, petadil blood, in the maximum power that they deliver compared to their size. So better built to that compared to the chest circumference. And uh, American Pitbull Terrier, for example, does this compared to their weight. So the benefit of the, compared to the weight is that, especially in a running dog, you will have a dog that is quite light compared to its muscles. Whereas if you're in a Petrodil Terrier, you have a very a uh, heavy dog compared to its chest circumference. 
So also chest circumference can be a little bit limited. This is again use. It's again use to breathe in air eh? for a running dog. Lung capacity was a big thing. So you get all in all, if you had the same size of both uh, dogs, so a very small uh, American Pitbull Terrier, a very big Platinum Terrier, combined with the same type of running dog, you might get a heavier uh, dog for the size with a uh, with Platinum Terrier, which is a little bit contradictory because they are smaller dogs in general. But for the same height of the widths, they bring a lot more mass. So you lo you're losing ball length for the same kilograms. That's it in short. So that can be a detrimental uh, factor, but can also be beneficial, especially when you're bushing. So, for example, bushing animals are out, out of those bushes with a lot of strength and not too high body that is also collapsible with the chest is a benefit. Also pet adopters are of course purebred hunting dogs, especially for earth work, being foxes and badgers, but sometimes also used for example above ground in the States against a raccoon, but also a raccoon dog in Europe and Asia, but also against uh, hawks, swine, so feral pigs and the likes. And of course they are a lot less capable than for example a bull. American uh, Pitbull Terrier, which is a lot heavier. They have a lot more hunting characteristics, so for example, smell, sense, and knowing what to hunt instead of uh, being dominant against each other. So that can be a big benefit in the, in the whole. So, so let's summarize the benefits of Boo and Petadol Terrier in a lurcher. So Bull, American Pit Bull Terrier, or Working Life Stafford, or English Bull Terrier brings you more size, which can be beneficial, especially if you want to combine it with a bigger type of running dog. For example, Greyhound, Bull Grays, so to say. And they also offer longer ball length per kilogram, so that can also be a beneficial effect. They have... Uh, a very high combat drive. They are bred to give you the strongest type of dogs for a certain kilogram. So that's beneficial also with uh, sprinting and top speed exercises of your uh, lurcher. However, they have a little bit less strong feet and they are not being primarily bred to be hunting dogs. So then the benefits of the Petadol Terrier, they are uh, of course purebred hunting dogs, their focus, sole focus is hunting, so that brings a lot of benefits to the table for a hunting cross. Also they come with three different coats, the smooth coat that you see here, but also they can come in rough coat and slated long coat. So if you want additional protection of the coat, this can be beneficial. Also for the size, they come with thicker skin. And the Petadol Terrier is in contradiction to a bull blooded dog, developed to bring maximum power and ability for their ch chest circumference. So they are uh, weighing more for the same ball length, which can be detrimental again. But also they have the benefit that they can squeeze to uh, narrow uh, passages and still bring a lot of force. They also have collapsible chests, which can be a benefit. A lot better balls, because they are also digging, being an earth terrier, quite capable. And they are especially being used with smaller type of lurches, oftentimes uh, whippet pattern crosses, also known as whippets where they suit uh, very good because they bring a lot of force and are also very good brushing dogs so they can push the animals out of the brushes but also chase them down in the open fields. Hope this helps, have a great day.